24 more cases of the highly contagious COVID-19 variant first found in the UK were confirmed here in San Diego County today. The mutated strain was found in people from several different households who have no reported travel history. Tonight, News 8's Richard Allen has more on the drastic new steps the UK is now taking to stop the spread there, as well as a look at why scientists believe this new variant is so much more contagious than the original strain. Richard? Well, that's right. This more contagious variant has already been confirmed in more than 30 countries, as well as New York State, Colorado, Florida, and Georgia, as it continues to ravage the United Kingdom. The weeks ahead will be the hottest yet. As the UK embarks on its third lockdown, this time through mid-February, hospitals are under more pressure than any time since the pandemic began, as British officials fear a collapse of their healthcare system, fueled by the prevalence of this mutant B117 variant. And it's been both frustrating and alarming to see the speed with which the new variant is spreading. Spreading throughout San Diego County as well, with 24 new cases of this new variant confirmed on Tuesday, along with four other suspected cases. These 24 cases come from 19 different households scattered throughout the county, none of whom reported any recent travel history. But the fact that we now have dozens of cases and they're geographically dispersed and they're not people who just got back from a plane from London, uh, tells us that it is present and it, it spreads exponentially more. It is much more contagious. Scientific data suggests this UK strain is over 50% more contagious. While studies are still underway, scientists believe this variant has several mutations that affect the special spike protein on the surface of the virus that attaches to human cells, allowing it to transmit more easily. It's able to bind to the receptors on cells better and therefore is transmitted better. There's no indication at all that it increases the virulence, and by virulence I mean the ability to make you sick or kill you. Health officials say the best ways to protect yourself from this new strain are the same as the original, such as social distancing, mask wearing, and following the stay-at-home order. Also today, newly selected County Board of Supervisors Nathan Fletcher and Vice Chair Nora Vargas proposed a new policy change. This would ensure the county's response to COVID-19 was more equitable, data-driven, and more collaborative with state leadership. That proposal will be put to a vote next Tuesday. Thanks, Richard. And while there are concerns about the UK variant, scientists say that particular strain is actually less concerning than another strain of COVID-19 just detected in South Africa. The South African strain has more mutations to its spike protein, which functions like a key opening the door to human cells. And there are fears that could make vaccines less effective. Although Dr. Fauci said at this point, they do not believe that is the case. More research though is still needed. Let's take a closer look at where cases stand in our county right now. More than 1,800 new cases were reported today, along with 56 more deaths. That includes one person in their 20s. About 9% of the latest 19,000 tests were positive. Our 14-day rolling average is now just under 13%. There have been two new community outbreaks for a total of 44 in the past week. The county reported 62 new hospitalizations, 10 new admissions to the ICU. San Diego's ICU capacity is about 20%, but the Southern California region remains at zero.